angry guy here. And the woman arrested in Dubai also caused trouble in Puerto Rico too. So the woman arrested in Dubai also caused trouble in Puerto Rico too. Many of you guys know about the sassy trucker at this point. I made a video about it. I put out a short on it. And for those of you that don't know, this is a woman. She's a YouTuber. She's an influencer. She's also a truck driver. And, uh, you know, she makes, you know, she takes these very scantily clad pictures sometimes. And she's, she's, a little, she's a bit outrageous. She went over to Dubai. She got arrested for yelling at uh, yelling at a guy at like a rental shop because like she had some stuff in the car and then she she basically got arrested she can't leave Dubai she's she's facing a two year prison term well guess what this is not her first this is not the first time this is happening let's just go ahead and jump right into the video yes it all it also could result in prison time. So it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. He raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. It's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. Shout out to Quanell X for using his connections to get the mother in front of the media, but Brother X talking about how laws in another country are not fair and right is really none of our business as Americans. For instance, if somebody came to your house and brought their kids over there, the kids started jumping up and down on your couch, you tell them to stop. They jump on the couch all the time at home. We all know that will be out of order. You cannot dictate the rules at somebody else's house. <laughs> that really got me good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got something for y'all. What? Get out! <laughs> if you can't respect their rules as a guest, stay home at your own house where you let the kids jump on the couch. Don't go to another person's house and try to make them okay with allowing your kids to destroy their stuff. This is very simple. If y'all flamingos and heathens don't know how to act, stay home. Dubai is not begging y'all to come over there. You're the ones flocking to Dubai. They don't want this Western behavior over there in their country. Go to Miami where they allow that. Vegas, LA, NYC, Atlanta, Houston. But if you go to Dubai with all that rah-rah, this is going to happen to you too. So, we have the friends of the sassy trucker. According to them, they don't believe that she was just arrested in Dubai for healing. They say that it's more to the story that Quanell X and her mother told the media. And they even released a video of a previous trip they went on to Puerto Rico where the sassy trucker got more than sassy there too. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. All right, so after this information came out about the sassy truck driver and her situation in Dubai, you have one of her former friends who came out and she posted this on IG. She said, same chick that poured drinks on my husband trying to taunt him to react. The video shows the sassy trucker throwing drinks on him, calling him the B word multiple times. One of the other women there, she said the same thing. It was apparently a group trip that they went on to Puerto Rico. So you had other witnesses there as well. And one of the other witnesses, her name is Mexi Marie. She came out and had a lot to say. She said she got trashed, poured pop on my homegirl husband head calling him all types of bees, throwing bottles, breaking stuff, embarrassing. And then one of the other women on the trip, the wife of the husband that she threw the bottle at, said that she's a violent drunk. She made the Puerto Rico trip weird with her drunk, insecure, disrespectful self. Sorry to say, but she gets what she gets. 
And then Marie came back and said yes, arguing, screaming at the top of her lungs, so aggressive and disrespectful towards all the men. And Nelly said it's crazy cause my husband not a woman beater and he was more concerned with us getting back home than going to jail in Puerto Rico. I wanted to get her out of there for the weird ass that she was doing, but look at her now. She good for it, lol, she guilty. And then Mexi came back and said right, I remember when he was trying to make sure that she was safe. She assaulted him more than once in the same night. I still have the videos too. They're saying that's the moment right there where she poured drinks on the other woman's husband. I mean, wow, guys, this is this is just unbelievable. So it's no surprise that she was arrested in Dubai. But what her friends are actually saying right now is that there's more to the story. That they don't think that she was just arrested in Dubai for yelling. They believe that she actually did more than just yelling. And the me and her mother and the attorney they're actually lying about this. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying these videos please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn, hey, everyone. <laughs> if you're enjoying these videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to never miss another video again and like the video because it tells YouTube that you're enjoying the content and you want to see more of it. But guys, this is crazy stuff. I mean, this woman literally went to, to uh, Puerto Rico and she was she did she did some terrible things. She poured drinks on this guy. She was disrespectful to him. She threatened him. She was verbally abusive to him. And evidently, it wasn't just him. She's been very disrespectful to a lot of different men. This is another woman's husband. This is her husband. This is not her. This is not her baby daddy. This is not her. This is not her boyfriend. This is her husband. And this woman got disrespectful with with this woman's husband. Look at his look at his crotch. Like why is it, why is there soda? on his crotch. So, so she was trying to shame him, make it look like he pissed himself even because she clearly threw that in, in, in that direction. Like this is, this is just terrible. And, you know, they said that she's been doing this all over the place and he was there concerned about her. I mean, guys, I want you to think about this. Like, you know, there's a lot of decent black men in this world and they get a bad rap. They get a bad rap sometimes because they try hard, so hard to be good people, to be decent people. And then this is the kind of stuff that's going on in the community. And then you wonder why these guys are saying, you know what, I'm done, I'm getting up, I'm leaving and I'm walking away. These are the high value men in the black community. These are the high value men in the black community. She said that this is a guy that will never put his hands on a woman. You're right. And she made sure to make a point of that because they would immediately try to bash him and destroy this man's name when he was clearly the victim. And a lot of men go through this. And now she's over there in Dubai and her mama, because her, her mother doesn't look very old. Let's make that very clear. Her mother doesn't look very old. That woman doesn't look 50, doesn't even look 50 years old to me. She looks like she's in her 40s. She doesn't look like she's much older than I am. I'll be 40 in October. She doesn't look, she looks like she's in her 40s. So she had that, she had that girl when she was young. She had her when she was young. And now she has this girl out here acting a fool. And she's on television acting like her daughter is a victim because she uh, raised her voice and, and and her friends are saying nah her friends are saying yeah we don't think that's the case we don't th we don't think that's the case you know we think that she did more than that because she's been she's done a lot of terrible things to us she's been horrible to me she's been horrible to us she's been she's been just terrible let's go ahead and li listen to some more of the video because i'm getting heated as you can see, he did not react to her, but they said she kept taunting him, trying to get him to put hands on her, but he didn't do it. Meanwhile, she's calling him B-words. According to witnesses, the whole time her boyfriend was there on this trip with them, on this group trip, he was telling her to chill out, but she would not listen. She even put hands on him too. So then another person in the comments who didn't know them, they came in to defend Sassy and that guy says, so you're co-signing her being detained in another country for getting loud? Nowhere did this report say anything about being drunk on vacation like everyone that goes on vacation does. And then make- Now guys, I mean, this is crazy. That was a guy. So this guy, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a mother effing S-I-M-P. 
all right? Not not a P-I-M-P, an S-I-M-P immediately comes in and tries to defend her after everything that her friend said. And after everything that they showed, this man immediately comes in and starts trying to defend her. And I've talked about it before, that these are the, there are these guys. Why would you defend someone like this? And a lot of you guys said in the comments, because these are men who, these are, these are weak men. They don't want responsibility. A lot of these men don't want responsibility, all right? And, it, and they're able to avoid some of that responsibility and offset some of that responsibility onto women, onto the women, all right? And it damages, it damages our, our society as a whole. And it's done a lot of damage to the black community because there's a lot of men, not just black men. It, ha it's ha it happens all over. But we're talking about the black community. There's a lot of men who don't want to be responsible. They don't want to. They don't want to have the responsibility and take, have to take care of a family. They don't want to be providers. They don't want to be protectors. They don't. They don't want to be leaders. All right. So they would rather support this type of behavior and put uh, and throw other men under the bus than have to be masculine men. Have to be masculine and actually be have agency. Lexi Marie came back, yes, 10,000%. I'll bet anything she was the aggressor. She is always the aggressor. Mexi went on to say she also grabbed a knife. Her mama knows how she is and oh, has no. been for years. Oh, As for no. that one guy. Oh, no, oh, no, no, oh, no. Coming in defending this nonsense, talking about the report said nothing about this or that. The report doesn't say anything besides y'all come rally behind this disrespectful out of order woman because the person giving the report is her own mama. Like, please use your comments. How old does this woman look to you? She barely looks. She doesn't really look fifty to me. This is not. She does not look fifty. All right. Maybe in her mid or late forties. Or she could even be. She could even be forty-two, forty-three. All right. She probably had her when she was young, and she didn't raise her right. Single mother, anyone? Mm. Single mother, anyone? Because mm. if there's one thing we we haven't heard about yet, is the fa is a father. All right. And forgive me if I'm wrong, but where's her father? Where's her father? Because then all of that starts to add up disrespectful towards men where did she get it from where did she learn this behavior from the sassy behavior the sassy truck the sassy trucker that's her name on youtube the sassy trucker this is the type of behavior that she puts out there all right a lot of guys there's a lot in a name there's a lot in a name all right i'm the angry guy and what do you guys know about me i'm angry okay and she calls herself the sassy trucker, all right? What do you think? So why do you think she calls herself that? Because she's disrespectful, and she calls it sass, okay? She knows who she is. Just like I know who I am, I'm an angry guy. She knows who she is. She's a disrespectful woman. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to, shout out to Pinka. Pink, it's uh, pink book glasses. All right, shout, shout out to her, to because this, because you know she's come, she's doing her thing. All right, covering this. This is crazy. This is crazy, and she's got and her, and her there trying to act like like everything is okay, and you've got this, you've got this guy in the comments trying to trying to like justify her behavior, like she should have been in this, never have gotten to this point. She should. They finally had to stop her in Dubai. It should never have come to this. She should have been arrested a long time ago. All right? If you're in another country, you do this, you can still be arrested in, in your home country if you report that, if you report it to the cops. She could still face prosecution in the United States or she faced prosecution in the country where she was. Pulling a weapon on someone, assaulting someone. See, that's one of the problems with men. A lot of you guys, when women do these things to you, you don't report it. You need to pick up the phone immediately because if you don't, they will turn around and say you were the aggressor. And when you let these women get away with it, they go and they do it again. G guys, this, guys, well, Dubai, Dubai, they are doing, they are doing the Lord's work. They're basically, she's an international criminal. She is an international criminal. She didn't do this just in Puerto Rico also. Evidently, she was doing this in the Virgin Islands too. All of her friends are against her. Who is this man? Who is this man trying to make, trying to cut, clean things up for her? Trying to excuse what she's done when you can't excuse it. Who is this guy? Sense. Her mama is only telling the story that her daughter gave her. And obviously she's leaving out a lot to protect her daughter.
No officials in Dubai said they arrested her for getting loud. That's what the reporter in Houston said. And all the information that she received came from the mother. So yeah, her former associates came out showing that she has a history of this. Dubai is not her first situation or second. Now back to the Puerto Rico situation. According to the witnesses, police did get involved, but she was protected by the same man that she poured the drink on. He basically saved her from going to jail. He didn't want any problems. He just wanted all of them to make it back home. But the sassy trucker allegedly threw a bottle and it hit the wife's foot. His wife got an open cut from it. And according to witnesses, she was throwing stuff all around the house. And while in the streets of Puerto Rico, she got drunk and started talking crazy to other tourists and Puerto Ricans as well. Then one of her former associates said that she had a situation in the Virgin Islands where she was almost arrested at customs for the same type of behavior. So yeah, they're talking about multiple occasions and based on their experiences with her, they're saying that it's more to the story than she just raised her voice. And then according to Maxi Marie, she said she drives semi trucks. She got her and her ex fired after she was drunk driving. She's talking about in the semi truck and put hands on him. I'm assuming that's what led to their breakup. She went on to say her mom knows how she is. This isn't a first time thing. This is what happens to you when you have no self-control, no discipline, and no accountability. Years of it. For the most part, everyone should understand how you behave yourself when you walk out the house, even from a young age. This is just silly. Then I had some folks saying, You see, guys, this is when you have a father in the house, your father is going to tell you, you don't, the father is the authority in the house, all right? So your father corrects bad behavior, at least a normal father does, because a lot of these dudes are weak today with these da daddy daughter relationships and he basically lets her walk all over him and take and like oh hey baby take the wallet all right that's back a father is supposed to correct bad behavior he's supposed to be the one who helps his children to learn how to regulate their emotions all right she grew up likely with just her mother she doesn't know how to regulate her emotions her mother was somebody or someone who probably was very disrespectful to men had a very low opinion of men spoke very poorly of men and now that she's a grown woman now that now that her child is a grown woman she's taking all of those things mixed them up and this is what you get you get a woman who has no respect for men no respect for authority very little respect for herself and she's made a career out of it and she thought that she could go to another country she thought she could go to the united arab kingdom she could go to dubai and do this type of thing over there and she would not be called out on it because in the United States, things have gotten so bad in Western society that women can behave like this. They could they could commit crimes. They can commit acts of assault and they will not be stopped. No arrest, nothing. She was almost arrested. I think they said in the Virgin Islands, was it? And but she did. But but but, you know, but they didn't they didn't get her. She was almost arrested at customs. Bro. It was only a matter of time, but this was too many guys. It, and she, 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 she like threw something and, and, and caused at her at one of her friends, and it resulted in an open gash. Guys, this is a violent felon. This is a violent felon. They put her in jail. She's gonna get extra time because she's gonna keep getting in trouble. She's gonna get in fights. She'll get an argument. She's gonna get in fights. She's gonna be in the shoe. They give her two years, she comes out in five because of all the stuff she was doing in there. They just have to keep on adding stuff, adding stuff, adding stuff. Her time just keeps on going up. I mean, guys, I'm just saying. Like, like it was a matter of time. This it should never have gotten to this point. She should have been prosecuted a long time ago. And I blame her friends for this, for not holding her accountable. For for her for for you know this the guy he should. They probably just didn't want the stress. They probably didn't want this. But I mean, she injured one of them, scarred them. She physically. She I mean, she put her hands on their husbands. Like this one, like, like what's going on? And it's because men let this get, it's because men and other women let this happen. All her friends are against her. All her friends are speaking out against her. 
They're not even rushing to her defense, all right? Usually women, especially black women, they're like, oh, no, you're talking bad about me. You're talking bad about her. There's other... No, her friends despise her. They want her to go to jail. They want them to lock her up and don't let her out. Whew. Telling y'all. Hey, everyone. I appreciate your support and feedback. If you want to show your gratitude, you can use the super thanks feature to tip me any amount you like. You'll also get a special comment that I can see and reply to. Or you can become a channel member using the join button and get exclusive perks like badges, emojis, live chats, and more. Your support helps me make more videos for you. So thank you and stay tuned for more. Guys, I'm telling you, it's no wonder that they arrested her in Dubai after she, after she also caused trouble in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And it sounds like other countries, it sounds like there were other places as well. And you don't even know what she was going on with in the U.S. Because if she's doing this in other countries, she's definitely doing it in America. I hope they hold her. I hope she gets at least two years. I hope Ahmed, I hope Ahmed does the work with her because she has a lot of work to do. Just like that little idiot who ran across over to South, over to, to North Korea. All right. And I don't know what we're doing. Talking about we're trying to get him back. Let them have him. Let them have him. All right. I hope they keep her. I hope they keep her in Dubai. We have enough problems. Please keep her. Please keep her. We have a lot of problems. We have we have a lot of problems that we're dealing with. Please keep her. Can we set up a GoFundMe, y'all? Can we set up a GoFundMe to keep her in keep her in Dubai? Because this is crazy. This is crazy. All right. Let me know if we can set up a GoFundMe to keep her in Dubai. Let me know. That's what I'm. That's what I want to know. I want to know if we can set up a GoFundMe to keep her in Dubai. You know, don't, 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 don't bring her back here. Don't bring her back here. Don't let her back. She's a, she is a danger, danger to the public. What do you guys think about this? Woman arrested in Dubai caused trouble in Puerto Rico too. And the Virgin Islands. Let me know what you think in the comments. 